two real estate agents, one rookie. Don't know exactly. One pro. People are gonna benefit from this. <laughs> Find out what it takes to get to the top and stay there in The Agents. Rookie Janice Rushford has been a real estate agent for just under two years, and already she has done 60 deals. I started out hoping and praying to sell a house, and I ended up selling a lot of houses. Tuesday. Clients Gary and Roz need Janice to sell their four-bedroom family home in the east end of Toronto. It has an in-law suite and is perfect for young families. Current list price to be negotiated. The challenge becomes that they've already bought, and so they have a firm closing date, and their house has to get sold. Good. Hi, Janet. How's How are going? you? Good. 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 Nice. I'm really hoping that he'll list at 329, but I have a feeling when he looks at the comparables, he might want to list at 339. Janice begins her meeting with Gary and Roz by presenting comparables, what similar houses in the neighborhood have sold for in the last few months. So it's 73. <clears throat> Similar to yours or dissimilar? My husband would know. He knows every house on yeah, the street. Yes, for sure. This is not full brick, probably unfinished basement. And then 93 was listed for 344 and sold for 336. Mine, better shape. It's how I live. So what are you thinking number-wise? Okay. Why don't you don't want me to just do this for fun? We'll write it down? I'll okay. Write it down. <laughs> Give me a napkin. Uh, Let's see what you got there, Gary. Okay, I'm thinking it's in between this and this for a list price. Let's see what you think. Okay. Me? Mm -hmm. I ain't selling no house for this money. If I was listed okay. at 329, mm -hmm. and then the guy goes, oh, okay, he'd probably make an offer 319. That ain't working. This number here, totally reasonable. Okay. How do you feel about the 359 number? I support Gary because okay. I think he knows what he's talking about. All right, then we'll take a run at that number. The problem is not getting it sold, it's getting it sold and closed on time for his other property. And uh, I don't want Gary ending up, you know, carrying the two mortgages and, and bridging because that's what it would come to. Bye, guys. We'll see you Thanks later. Lot, Bye. Thank you, Janet. Take care. Pro agent Sally Cook, along with her partner and husband Tom, has become one of the city's most successful realtors by hiring a team of agents to work for her. You can't stop what's happening in the States right, right. now, but there's a lot of people that are going to benefit from this. Sally provides the leads in exchange for a slice of the commissions on the high volume of deals the team does. Last year, 278 deals, totaling $100 million. Probably 60, 70 deals myself. Staying at the top has not been easy for Sally. I am usually at my desk by 5.30 in the morning. I work all day. I don't stop for lunches. I just keep going. And I may be lucky if I'm finished by 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night and then I get up and do it again the next day. But sometimes I do it seven days a week. Today, Sally needs to help clients Dan and Tira buy a condo in downtown Toronto that is dog friendly, close to Dan's office, and wheelchair accessible. Budget, 400,000. Hopefully at the end of the day, you'll find something that they like. Dan and Tira were referral, and I take my referrals really seriously. Yeah, no, no, I got it, I got it. Yeah, we're up here. The first stop is an 1,800 square foot, one bedroom condo within walking distance of the building Dan works in. List price, $385,000. Maintenance fees, $600 per month. We could do a lot with this room, for sure. It's a little bathroom here. It's a nice place. It's a beautiful unit. It is. So the only thing I have uh, against this place is that they don't allow dogs. How much do you like your dog? <laughs> we just realized it's, it says restricted pets. No dogs is the, the deal breaker on this, yeah. unfortunately. I know. Being a rookie agent means learning to juggle clients. Janice heads across town to High Park, where she'll be selling a three-story, six-bedroom detached house in need of a little TLC. Current list price, $669,000. Janice will need to give her returning client, Anna, a little TLC. She grew up in the house, and it's being sold because her father has now passed away. You know, it's really an emotional time for her, and I want it to go as you know, painlessly as possible. A lot of life, a lot of memories yeah. in this house, Janice. Birthdays, mm -hmm. parties, births, weddings, and unfortunately, deaths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to hand over those keys, it's gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. right. It's like taking my mom and dad and just saying goodbye. Yeah. Our final goodbye. Her dad passed away, she called me. I sat down and I said, you know what? I'm here to help in any way I can. 
I understand what you're going through. I went through it with my mom. So, you know what, any way that I can help you, I will. And that's not the only challenge Janice is facing. A neighbor's similar but fully renovated house has been for sale for two weeks. The sellers don't want the competition of a much cheaper house. And the neighbor asked Anna not to put her house on the market or to wait until she had sold her house. Same house, only it's renovated and it's about $150,000 more. She's actually doing her house a disservice if we had not gone on the market. Two houses on the market at the same time will create more interest for both houses and she's more likely to get her house sold quicker or for a better amount of money with both houses on the market. I'm gonna approach the other agent and ask if he would like to work together on this. There is no sense and no benefit to anybody's client to work against each other. This is 1,300. Next up for Dan and Tira is a 1,300 square foot condo. Close to work, good for wheelchairs, and dogs allowed. List price, $370,000. Maintenance fee, $570 per month. Oh, that's a really good size. Yeah. I mean, I would say right now between this one and the first go one. Yeah, I would agree. They have a mission. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. I just really want them to, to be happy. As a rookie agent, Janice started her career working as part of a team like the one Sally Cook leads. Now, she's giving up that security and she'll be out on her own for the first time. In the beginning, I was working under someone else's name. It would be his name on the property and on the sign. So this is really great because for Anna's dad's house, my name gets to be on the front line. Hello, Hello. how are you? I thought you were going to be here today. We're just getting organized today. You know what? I was thinking if we kind of work together and, you know, get some people tomorrow for the open house, it works best for everybody, you know? Hey, if uh, the more the merrier. Okay. I'd love to. What time, what time are you going to be here? Um, I'll be here probably around 1 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah? See you then. All right. Nice okay. to meet you. Thanks a lot. It's very exciting to see it, especially on Anna's house. There we go. It's just really cool to look at the sign and see my name. <laughs> it's really excited about that. Today, we're going to uh, go out to Anna's open house, because the house across the street is having an open house as well. And that one's completely renovated. So I'm curious to, uh, to hear what the feedback might be. Here we go. I'm Janet. Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi. Hi, I'm Jim. Nice to meet you. What was this house? Yeah. What would you know exactly? Um, exactly? Don't know exactly. It's actually an estate. Um, the gentleman that lived here passed away. It's actually quite a busy open house, and having the other house across the street, people will walk back and forth before they make a decision. Well, I'm curious to hear their feedback after bidding across the street, what they have to say about the house. What do you guys think of the house in general? Did, did you like it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It obviously needs a lot of TLC, but it's solid. And I think it's priced very well for the space. Sure nice to Appreciate meet you. It. All right, take care. Okay, well, thank you guys very, thank you. very thank much. You. Nice to meet you. Any questions, give me a shout. Okay, so what do you think? Eh? It's good. It's good. I, think it's, uh, I think it's got great bones. Yeah. I think it could be a real, real nice property. I invite you to come over and see the other house. I've already done it. I inspected it. Thank I had you. a look. Yes, right. same from her, Thank sir. you so much. Thank you very Thank you. much. All day. right, good luck to you guys. I want to see a sold sign as soon as possible. For sure, two sold signs. Yes. Okay. And now, since uh, I've been working for most of the day, I'm going to go meet Kent Shepard who owns Remax Hallmark, but is also uh, my boyfriend. Let me help Maybe you. Maybe you can make you a drink, how about that? <laughs> yeah, I can make you a drink. Drinks have yes. a really nice thing to do. Yeah, I think the first time I met her, she was eating at the desk, and she didn't know I was the owner. <laughs> Brought some white wine in a, in a box. <laughs> yes. I'm a no. single mom, I'm late for work. I'm the brand new receptionist, and there's muffin all over the place, and. He walks in and I said, oh, I'm Janet. Listen, I was late this morning and now breakfast. I'm meeting at my desk. Don't tell anyone. And he goes, hi, I'm Ken Shepard. I own the company. And I go, oh, do you want me to go home now? And he goes, no, I like you. You can stay. You know, she was an employee. I was a boss. And although we had mutual admiration, it wasn't until about a year ago that we both found ourselves single. And I couldn't believe that 
you know, I was that lucky. And now I'm so in love with him. And I just want people to know that that's what it's about. Being a pro agent means being able to take most of the month of August off when the housing market slows down. But there's no rest for Sally. She's selling her family cottage and building a 4,500 square foot lakeside dream home. What do you think of the stone? Isn't it beautiful? I do what I do to be able to have something like this. But I'm still trying to figure out how to balance everything. There are times when I get overwhelmed and I have my little breakdown because I feel that I'm pulled in so many directions. Where did the fireplace samples go? What's left at the end of the day of me? So I really try hard to take an hour each day for myself, either to run, to go to yoga, to just come and sit on a rock and have the wind blow on my face and just listen to nothing. This is why I do what I do to be able to have something like this. But the pressure is on to get this dream house finished. Sally and Tom's annual staff party is just a month away. Less than a month. The tiling starts on Thursday for the bathrooms. So it's a couple of days for the tiling, Tom. Closer to a week. Gary and Roz's house has been on the market for 21 days, and they've had no offers. They have a new list price, $329,000, a drop of $30,000. Janice has just five weeks to sell and close this house, or Gary and Roz will face paying two mortgages every month. So despite the fact that it's a long weekend, she's holding an open house. It's difficult to say what might have slowed down the sale. You know, it's summer. That could be part of it. Starting out um, at a price that the market really wasn't indicating it should be listed at, and now we've changed it to a price that the market's saying would bring us an offer. It's getting close uh, to his other closing on his other home, so we really, really need to get it sold. While Sally struggles to put the finishing touches on her sprawling summer getaway, Sally Cook team member Dimitri struggles to make a deal and to make a dollar for Sally. Ready to start looking? Yes, yes. I'm ready to buy a house. I came to Canada 14 months ago, and I already knew that I wanted to work as a real estate consultant. And right off the airplane, I went to join uh, Ontario Real Estate College. Now I'm here. I don't want to be right downtown, and I don't want to be too far east or west. The so. advantage for someone coming onto the team is the training that we have, the leads for them. We started a team of agents to manage all the leads that do come in. We will find you. The problem with having a team is when you get too close to someone and they turn around and do something that's very hurtful. We had one agent who tried to steal leads out of our database. It can be hurtful. Janice's long weekend open house has brought in Gary and Roz's first offer. We're really close to the wire for them closing on their other house. So I'm just really, really hoping that it's a great offer and we get the house sold tonight. So basically what we have is an offer of 320. The offer is $9,000 less than the current list price, 39,000 less than what Gary originally hoped for. I think it's a good offer, but what would you guys like to do? Well, we all know we're not accepting the first one. That's granted. Okay. Right, we're signing a baby back. What, where are you thinking we should sign back at? Maybe uh, 327.5. I think that we should sign back at 325. I don't, I don't want 325. This way looks like five grand down, they come up five. I think we 325 made the is a very reasonable offer. I agree. I feel like I've been ganged up on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, because it falls into place for us too. Yeah. And the boss. <laughs> I don't oh think gosh. we should start monkeying around and playing with this. Okay, how about this? How about 326.5? What did you say, 326.5? Mm-hmm. We'll do 326.5. Okay. See okay. They come back with them. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to our friend and I'll be back in a sec. Okay. If the potential buyer does not accept the 326.5 offer or sign back the offer, this deal will be dead. Janice's clients, Gary and Roz, receive a counter offer to their sign back of 326.5. What they came back at was 324.5. The offer is 2,000 less than Gary and Roz's last sign back. 324.5, well, our 
according to this, the deal is done. <laughs> So we need a signature, one last signature. It's right here. It's a real release. We have a matching closing date to the house that they bought. Gary and Roz can pack and move, and uh, all the worry is over with now. And with the deal done, Janice manages to take an evening off. I'm going to go meet Ken at his boat and have some dinner and a glass of wine and just relax. <laughs> Good. Really good. What was your day? Uh, lazy day. <laughs> I was reading. <laughs> I can't believe you still have clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Pro agent Sally has closed a deal for clients Dan and Tira, an 850 square foot condo. Dan can walk to work, it's wheelchair accessible, and pets are welcome. Purchase price, $395,000, $5,000 under their budget. Maintenance fees, $544 per month. I called the agent to say we have an offer, and he said, well, I've just found out that uh, the seller is touring or something in Europe somewhere. It's kind of frustrating someone puts their home on the market and then disappears. And so we then sent our offer to the listing agent who then sent it to Spain. And so we finalized uh, getting it all signed up and, and done for them. Janice is planning to hold another open house at Anna's family home. It's been on the market for 14 days at 669000 but no offers have come in. So I had a conversation with Anna about where the market was indicating the price should be. We were listed a little on emotion. I was willing to let that go for a little while for Anna, but the market was telling us something very different. And so we sat down and uh, adjusted the price. New list price, $629,000, a $40,000 drop. As I was getting ready to come to the open house, I got a call from an agent uh, that she was putting an offer together. So now we've had to stop the open house. It's firm. They have a check with them. I also really like that number. The buyer is offering $610, $19,000 less than the list price. I'm shocked they started that high. I would like to sign it back if possible at six fifty. At six fifteen, six fifteen, six twenty. That's what I'd like to sign it back at. Signature and date, right? Yep, sign and date. Okay, you sit tight. Let me go tell them what I have, and I'll be back in a sec. Hey, how are you? Janice brings in the agent representing the potential buyer for Anna's father's house. She has a counter offer to the $620,000 sign back. Were there any other changes other than price? Uh, nope. So she signed back at 612. That's fine. Okay, let's accept then. Over here? Yeah, sign. Yeah, right there. Congratulations. Sweetie. Oh, I feel now that there's a certain closure here, and that's where it gets more emotional, because now it's going to be handing over the keys and knowing that I will never come back to this house again. It's just a really great scenario. Anne is really happy. I couldn't be happier for her. Considering what we've looked at and what the market's been telling us lately, it's a really, really good price. So it's sold. The offer was a great offer, and it's sold. And I get to finally put up the sold sign on the Janice Rushford sign. And I am very, very happy about that. And the neighbor's house across the street is still for sale. Pro agent Sally gets ready to open her lakeside dream home for her team of agents. For the last five, six years, we've done a team day. This isn't about business today. This is about just having fun. It's Dimitri! Hi, everybody! Hi! Hi. 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 Want to stay already? Uh, Blue West, I told you about. Got it. Yeah, seven and change. Good. So that's four this month. I'm working like you. I got to put a bathing suit on too. Oh, okay. This is Natalie. This is my, oh, my favorite girl. <laughs> this is David. This I'm is my Sally's, superstar. I'm Sally's <laughs>
said you don't get up, you don't get any more leads. <laughs> up you went. No leads, no deals. No, no deals, leads, no, no deals. Well, to me, success is can I provide the lifestyle that I would like to have for myself, for my family, and and do it that I haven't hurt anybody along the way. So it's been a perfect day. The weather has totally cooperated with us. It's been amazing. It's been tons of fun. It's been great to see people have fun, try different things. It's uh, been a great day, and we're going to head into a great evening. We've got chili waiting for us, and uh, it's going to be fun. After a long working week, Janice is finally on her way home, a place that means more to her than most. It's really important to me to put people in a place that they can call home because I know what it's like to not have a place to call home. Um, I had my son, Jonathan, when I was 16. John, come eat. I didn't really have a lot of support from my family. My son and I were kind of on our own and for a period of time really didn't have a place that we called home. He's my number one priority. I've raised him on my own, just the two of us. And he's wonderful, and I just love him more than anything. You know, it's why I do everything I do. It's for him, you know? He comes first, so, and I just want to create a great future for him. For more, go to wnetwork.com forward slash the agents.